Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video, I want to share with you a really interesting resource released by Microsoft in which you can learn about web development, you can learn about Python, you can learn about web security, you can learn about cloud computing and you can learn about a lot of different things. They have launched over 3000 plus guides for you to learn about all of these different things. So I'll take you through all of that. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and let's get into this video, right? So Microsoft recently came up with this thing. Let me just show this to you right now. This is what you have. It's called as Microsoft Learn. Um, we can just go on to this place and you will see this is the main homepage and we need to go over here and as you can see 3498 guides are available for you let me show you how this works so let's say you want to learn about python you press enter over here and you can go through the different modules and learning paths that are available to you right there so let's say you want to learn about what is python right you can go over here and you can step by step one by one go through all of the guides that are available and you can learn about python and what it really is right so as you can see these are just text based tutorials you can go through these one by one you can see all the applications of python learning objectives you can continue as you can see you don't need to log in you don't need to make an account or something you can simply just go on to this website and you can start learning if you are confused about what platform should you use i think this can be a great starting point if you want to learn about python so you can just see what is a program types of program we all know about this it's very simple let's say you want to now learn about javascript right you want to learn about javascript so let's go down here and see about javascript variables and data types right so here you can just go through the guides that are available and you can learn about javascript variables and data types so that's basically how this guide is supposed to work as you can see you can go through all of these articles and you can start preparing your websites and you can start building things to get experience right uh, they have various different things let me just show you some more examples of what they have Let's say you want to learn about Node.js, right? If you just want to learn about Node.js, they also have an introduction to that. They have modules and then they also have learning paths, right? So let me just show you what that means. Let's just say you want to go into learning paths. You click on this. Learning paths are going to be a combination of various different modules. So let's say you want to basically learn about Azure and how it really works. So you can go through this one by one. They also have some videos that you can get access to and through this you can learn about azure fundamentals and azure development right so that's basically how that works i will not take much of your time as you can see this is a one hour 35 minute long learning path right here and you can just keep going on to the next path and you can just keep learning from this majority of this is about you know actual blogs or written content that you can go through quickly and you can learn about all of this if you are not much of a video type person then you can definitely go for this and you can quickly learn about all that is that you want to learn right so that's basically how that works as you can see what is cloud computing you learn about this then you move ahead what is azure then we can again move ahead what can you do with azure how to get started how to make your account all of this you can do over here tour of azure services and that is basically how this works so this is for azure if you don't want to learn about azure then you can definitely learn about other things here as well like i showed you before if you search for python you can see that they have other modules for python as well as you can see explore and, and analyze data with the help of python which is a module you can go through this and you can learn about numpy and pandas and you can also solve some exercises over here right so that is basically how this works um, if you are liking this video so far make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel now if you're preparing for your coding interviews as a budding developer you have to take a look at code studio by coding ninjas as you can see this is the code studio website you can check it out with the link in the description it's completely free for you to use let's say you want to go to programming fundamentals you want to strengthen your programming fundamentals you can go down and you can see what sort of questions are asked and in which company interview was it asked right so let's say you want to go for this pair some question which was asked in 
uh, Flipkart interview, Amazon interview, Morgan Stanley as well as Infosys. You can click on this and you can start coding out the solution for this. On Code Studio, you can also get access to free structured roadmaps for DSA, web development, cognitive coding, and many more different fields in programming. They have more than 2000 company interview questions with solutions available both in C++ and Java. Not only this, you also get more than 600 plus coding interview experiences from top product based companies like Google, Microsoft and Amazon. So take a look at the link in the description and now let's move on to the next part. You have many more guides as well as you can see, they have over 44 different modules for Python. So you can learn about different things like machine learning, you can learn about if and else statements, you can learn about various different things, data manipulation, Python lists. The list just goes on and on, right? Like build real world applications with the help of Python. You can go through this and you can see what sort of applications they want you to build. This is like a learning path, as you can see. So first of all, you learn about object-oriented programming with Python. Then you learn about build an AI web app using Python and Flask. So you're also learning about Python back backend development. So that's basically how that works. And you'll also be able to deploy it on Azure, as you can see, Azure Cognitive Services to build a web app that incorporates AI. So that's basically how that works. You can go through this one by one and you can build this application from scratch. So this is one thing. You can also get certifications if you want to become like a Azure developer. For that, you can obviously go to this browse certification section and you can browse through all of these exams. You can give these exams and you can become, you can get the certificate basically, right? So that's basically what you can do over here. Now, one problem that you might face is you might forget whatever you've learned previously if you're learning every single day or you want to create this habit of learning to code every single day. And that is where I think you can take a look at this Notion template that I recently found out. So this one is called as the 100 days of code. It's a free Notion template. I'll link it in the description. You can duplicate it and you can use it to track all of the progress of yours, right? So when you start day one, you can write exactly what is the date. Then you can write how many uh, how many minutes were you coding? You can type what did what exactly did you code? You can write down what resources did you use? You can write exactly what did you learn? How did you feel? What was the difficulty level? And you can just go through the whole list of that, right? So again, the link for this is also in the description. It's completely free. You can use it if you are interested, but this is one great way for you to track your progress and make sure that you are on your path to become a better developer. That is all that I have for you today. I hope this video is helpful. I hope this video is insightful. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? If you're still watching, just write in the comment section, I watched till the very end. Thank you so much. Please share this video with a friend of yours. If you found this helpful, you can also take a look at uh, this video in which I talk about a free Google DSA course. So you can take a look at that with the link in the description. That's it. You can take a look at the code studio by coding ninjas with the link in the description as well. I will see you all in the next video. You can take a look at my Instagram as well as Twitter. I will see you again.